Martin Wheeler and the creator of reggae from Trenchtown, original man. Yet you have people a right about say people will never ever come from Trenchtown. As you see, I have written about them over the years and called them out. Man, all I say, what me I say a lie. All right? And me have the testimonials from them, man. Yeah. Listen to what Raya say again. Back with this man here, yeah, and we're going to do Because Don Ricardo, a lot of man don't know, but Ricardo was the first wheel and wheel. He's the man that chased him from sin. And I tell him I was fooled. And that's what happened. That's what happened. Yeah. There was a fool who found wheelers. This was one of the first wheelers. And Marty, yeah. Julia, yeah. and Carl. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah, man, this was Ry Wilson from the legendary Jamaican musical duo Higgs and Wilson that reigned from the 1950s through the 60s, 70s, and 80s when I and I and the other Trenchtown people created the reggae music. All right, we and them live on the same street. The genius of Rocksteady, Alton Ellis and his sister Hartens live on the same street. Junior Breitweet, <laughs> the whole away, right there so, on the same street. All right, this is Roy Wilson. From the legendary Jamaican music duo, Higgs and Wilson, confirming. And I have a, I have a much detailed testimonial from Ryan and Joe Higgs. I post them on YouTube. So all people have to do, I just look on YouTube. All right? And if them look on YouTube and them understand... How we attack and what them man ya say. Then we see where Joe Higgs in a the testimonial with me and Joe Higgs. Joe Higgs tapped me upon my shoulder and him say, This is the man that created reggae. And now you have Rai, Rai from the duo Higgs and Wilson, Trenchtown Jamaican iconic music legends saying the same thing. And yet you have people like Roger Stephens and the other liars and rapers of our music. We are talking about them no know where reggae come from. And them I tell lie about toots create reggae. Nonsense. You know, uh, my archives have whole heap of stuff. Whole heap of stuff. I'm sure them I keep quiet now. And when this African journalist from Kenya, Chimbiro Jimodi, posted the interview for me, and him never ever know certain truths and history behind it. All right, but him contacted I and did an interview, and him posted the interview. Him contacted Roger Stephens because as far as him did know at the time, because from how Roger Stephens had gone, like say, him come from Trenchtown and a Brooklyn, New York him come from, and him never know nothing about Trenchtown either. All him is is a collector of memorabilia from Bob Marley and the other guys them were. Him can fool up and lie to and befriend. You know, him, him tell Jim Odi say, him doubt that I created reggae and I have the copyrights for reggae creation, origin of the word and incorporated into music. 
Well, journalist Jim Odey from Kenya posted the copyrights after him get a copy from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. And now the whole of them are keep quiet. All of them are hide. Them no one say nothing. They have been hidden since the copyrights have been posted all over the internet. And it's all over the internet, the copyrights that I own exclusively for reggae creation. It dead eh? And the whole world can see it. So who 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 who, 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 who I got trust with the truth? Eh? All I don't know. Liars and thieves. The Roger Stephens don't use my books. Take out things out of my books. Just like other man them from England where I write books. Because they call themselves reggae historian and musicologist and encyclopedist and whatever name them are give themselves. And of my books, them are take information out of and twist it up and print it, infringing my copyrights. Put it in a them books and I sell it and I make money. Hoping that we and the other man, then we just dead off for them for just thief our works. And then there's another thing. The man you're connected in the reggae music industry, you know. Yeah, man. And them just sit down there and are wait for control most of the man, them catalog of music and history. But we have an eye upon them. And we are checked upon them because Roger Stephens himself, I and I, we know, say, him did interview with Joe Higgs and him did interview with Bonnie Wheeler, where him I call old fire sticks and all that. He might change the name after him see this. Him see what me I say. But me and Bonnie don't talk and me and Joe don't talk. And me have what them say. <laughs> Holy heap stuff. What me not even put out there yet. So. Make. Him put out. Why him have to put out. And I would advise. All of the children of the legends. Them. Check pan. On a father and mother's. Works. Song catalog. Music catalog. Check pan it. Check pan what them are going to write for make money off of them. After them are tell lie pan them. All right. I rascado a tell on a dot. Get ready. Be on the lookout. Be vigilant. Be diligent. Check pan what them reggae pirates and thieves and murderers in the music industry is selling in a them books. Pan on the mother's and on the father's works. All right? Check pan it to all the youths them of Morgan heritage, to all the youths them of culture, to all the youths them of Gatti Dennis, Dan Carlos, to all the youths them of all the reggae massives. Check pan on the catalog. Check pan on the works. Tell on the picnic them. Fi keep an eye out and check pan on the works of who are gonna use it for make money while them have on the mother and father and sister and uncle them in the grave because that's what them a do. Them a rub up on a legacy while for a family suffer in abject poverty. On a fi check pan that you know. Me a tell you no. Know. Check pan them, keep an eye pan them, and hold them all accountable. I rascal to give another warning over and over and over. Check pan on a father, grandfather, uncle, cousin. Works, check pan it, and make sure them no thief on a legacy. And on our fathers and mothers sang catalogs, all right?